I almost forgot it was Thursday because exams. Buddha, Brenda, Jessica, Susan, Scarlett, Buddha, Papi, da, Papa, Scratch, da, 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 da. Essentially, exams are the only thing going on in my life right now. I've got genetics tomorrow afternoon, and then repro, aka cow porn, Monday morning, and then Dobby is free. So yes, this is the final video that I will be making from a dorm room. Ever. That's weird, because the first video that I made for this channel was the week that I moved into this house, and now, after two years, I'm moving on. You've, uh, you've been a good house, Keaton. But I can't say that I'll miss dorm life. After three years of it, I've had just about enough. Let's review the highlights. So, freshman year, I was placed in a townhouse with three girls that I'd never met before. The university supposedly personality matched us. <laughs> Among my group of friends, these three girls were commonly referred to as field hockey roommate, who was pretty cool, but a bit, a bit too much of a tomboy for my liking, California roommate, who was the sweetest, dumbest Cornelian I have ever met, and naked roommate. Guess which one I shared a room with. Living with the three of them was an adventure. It's not that I like hanging around naked, but I just like put baby oil all over myself, so I can't like do anything. <sighs> Our room is like a graveyard of the sweatshirts of the people I've hooked up with. Oh my god. I just remembered that I only spoke Spanish for about 45 minutes last night. <laughs> Guys, our house smells like beer and man. We have manufactured the scent of frat house. Awesome. Plus the fact that field hockey roommate's best friend was commonly known as Super Catholic Boy. And every day when he walked in the house, my roommate would just yell, ABORTIONS! And then last year, I lived in the other wing of this house with my friend Kate in the most ridiculous hallway known to man. Across from us, we had the Yeti, who was more of a myth than anything else, the Catherine, who would yell at us for being too loud at 8pm, and butt shorts. Butt Shorts was this 35-year-old Asian woman who had a giant air humidifier, slept with her dorm room door open overnight, and always asked us for fashion advice, usually pertaining to Ugg boots. And then on one side of us, we had a pair of married grad students who kind of hated us. And on the other side, we had Glee Suite. That was five guys who made up half of one of the best-known a cappella groups on campus, which had its advantages. Cute boys with fantastic singing voices occasionally coming by to serenade us. And halfway through the year, Kate stopped speaking to me. I'm still not sure why that happened, but it made things just a little bit awkward. However, she did put up with the fact that I did this nonsense once a week, so that's a plus. And that brings us to this year. Living alone, constantly concerned by the shenanigans of the suite across the hall, next door to an Indian kid who bathes in cologne and is terrified of puppies, and counting down the days until I move into the nerd apartment where there will be video games and Lord of the Rings marathons and our puppy. Farewell, dorm life. You shall not be missed. I hope you're all doing well. I'm jealous of those of you who are already done with school entirely, and I'm feeling the pain of those who are not. And I hope this video has not scared any of you away from the prospects of dorm life. See you tomorrow, Scarlet.